Welcome back one and all to Let's Try. This time it's going to be something for Sega Saturn. An often overlooked masterpiece <laughs> by Lobotomy Software, who was doing a lot of good things at the time. During the time of the Pharaohs, the city of Karnak was a shining example of civilization that all other nations could only hope to emulate. Today, Karnak lives on, surrounded by the spirits of the past. However, something has gone terribly wrong. Unknown forces have seized the city, and great turmoil is spreading into neighboring lands. World leaders from all parts of the globe have sent forces into the Karnak Valley, but none have returned. The great power of this new empire is quickly crushing the best forces the human world has to offer. The only known information about this crisis came from a Karnak villager found wandering through the desert miles from his home, dazed, dehydrated, and close to death. In his final moments among the living, the villager told horrifying stories of fierce alien creatures that invaded the city devoured the women and children, and made slaves of the men. Many of the unfortunate victims were skinned alive or brutally dismembered. Others were subjected to unbearable tortures, injected with strange substances, and then mummified while still alive. According to the villager, even the mummified body of the great King Ramses was unearthed and taken away. You have been chosen from a group of the best operatives in the world to infiltrate Karnak and destroy the threatening forces. But as your helicopter nears the Karnak Valley, it is shot down. You barely escape with your life. With no possible contact to the outside world, you begin your adventure, ready to accomplish your mission, praying to return alive. There you go, the world's best operatives, and only one knew how to use a parachute. And that brings us to Power Slave. I had to stop talking because I think that the intro, the voice acting in particular is very well done. Well, the music too. So hopefully you took a moment to enjoy that. Options is standard stuff. I think I remember what the controls were. We're just gonna jump in. So yes, confession, even though this is Let's Try, technically it's not really me trying this out because I used to own this game back in the day. I'm just going to jump right in, but again, I'm just showing it off because its I forgot how good it is and I don't think a lot of people know that it exists. So here's hoping I can help out with that. And I think it was entirely due to Die Hard Game Fan Magazine, so thanks again, you guys, wherever you may be out there in the world still doing something awesome I'm sure they were great about publicizing Saturn games the type of games that a lot of magazines would just completely pass right on by you know they were all about quality they didn't care what console it was for what company made it if the game was good the game was good and a lot of what they said back then still holds up today look at how smooth this runs for a first person action game on a early 32-bit console you know it's completely 3d 3d models polygons and textures look at it it looks pretty smooth doesn't it from down low to up high everything seems legit so he's got his jump I can swipe my machete we can run and a few other things that I can't really make use of at the moment. Oh, and right off the bat, they give us a ranged weapon. How nice. How kind. Thinking we're going to need it right about now. So, funny thing about ammo, it's not measured by numbers. It's just that blue bar at the bottom left of the screen. As long as that's not empty, you can use your long-range weapons. But yeah, I think this came out around 1997. Maybe 96, but I think it was 97. 
it was somewhere midway along the Saturn lifespan in North America, I think. And it was one of my showcase games. This was one that I showed off to a lot of friends, particularly the friends who were always PlayStation this, PlayStation that, always trash talking about the Saturn. Thankfully, I was fortunate enough, probably a side effect of living in a living in a big city, much bigger than the one I do now, especially. But I actually had a friend in high school who had a Sega Saturn. Whereas, you know, online, I know a lot of folks have said that they never even saw a Saturn growing up, let alone had a friend who had one. But yeah, and we traded games all the time. He was there to help me defend it when we needed to, so that was fun. He was a good guy, too. Sad that we lost contact, but that does happen as people grow up. You move, work, school, you go your own way. And sometimes it's just hard to keep in touch even when you want to without it just turning into something forced or arbitrary. Yeah. And I actually knew uh, at least one other person in high school who had a Saturn, but we weren't really friends, so I don't really think of them too much. So you got some switch pulling. This, you know, this is a thinking man's FPS. This was actually the first FPS game that I had ever owned, so I remember not being very good at it. I know it's one of the few games in my collection that I did not complete. I was real big about that. I didn't like having games I didn't finish, but I had to let this one go. If I had another go at it now, it probably wouldn't be okay. You gotta remember too, this was before game facts and things like that, so I was kind of on my own. And I think we're gonna get some more dialogue here, so I'm about to shut up. You can hear some more of that A plus voice acting. Welcome, mortal. I am King Ramses. When my body was made to rest here, my name was not forgotten, and my spirit was blessed in the realm of the dead. For centuries I lived in splendid afterlife, among the most powerful gods of the world. Now, my eternal sleep has been broken by a savage race of creatures known as the Kilmat. These beasts have stolen my mummified corpse and are draining the power from it to use as their own. If they succeed, chaos will spread across the earth like a terrible wave of fire burning all living things in its path. The world as we know it will die a painful death. It is you, Great One, that must do justice for the sake of mankind and shun this evil. Seek out the six treasured artifacts that once adorned my tomb, given to me by the most powerful gods of Egypt. They too have been stolen and scattered across the valley and are highly guarded. These artifacts hold great powers and will help you on your journey. To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb and I will give you guidance. Fear not the power of the Kilmat. Instead, embrace the powers of the Egyptian gods. They will help carry you to victory. My. Kinda chatty for a dead guy, don't you think? And yeah, as far as the voice acting, that was much better than anything I could do. Don't know about you. Oh, it wasn't that good though. I don't want to hear it again. No, 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 no. Go away. Back to your tomb. Welcome, tut, 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 hut, hut, hut. I am king. <laughs> <laughs> will you travel to Karnak? Yes, we will. Camel's the only way to go. Oh, I think. Oh. How about that music, though? See, I made a bit of a boo boo, so welcome to the wonderful world of jump cutting. Let's check out Karnak, shall we? So, I don't know what this game is going for these days, but if you have a Saturn or a Collector, I highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed. If you are disappointed, I can't be held liable for the things that I've said, so don't even try it. 
Waste of ammo. Thank you very much. Thought there'd be something in there. I'm running away. Oh! Sh little buggers are fast, huh? Just showing off the strafing button. Not very well. Yeah, remember that part where I said I haven't played many first-person shooters? Not then and not now, so... But yeah, graphically, I'm amazed at how well this game has stood the test of time. Hasn't missed a beat, actually. Still looks quite good. And this was on that system that, what did they say? Saturn couldn't run? 3D? Yeah, well, here's some 3D for you. Oh, oh! Shh! Just about forgot about them. Problem is, the spiders kind of blend in here. I doubt that's by accident. Oh! And they're kind of hard to see till they're nipping at your heels. And I'm gonna leave those alone. I'm sure you can guess what happens if you blast those up close. Oof. There's always the one you don't see. It is more fun to slash him with the machete, I think, though. Would you believe I love spiders in real life? But not in Karnak. Oh, no, 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 no. These spiders are not my friends. And so I shall treat them as such. That is the thing that is not a friend. Okay, you can look up and down to adjust your angle of attack. What was that? I don't remember seeing that ever. Whatever it was, it nearly killed me. Alright, I can use that health increase now. Okay, that won't open up if I press the button. So, what did all that do? Okay, that's a one-time switch. I can't hit that again. So, this is going to be a relatively short video. I just basically wanted to, again, show off the game a little bit. I'm still struggling with my throat and my stomach, so I don't want to overexert myself. Especially since I have so much other stuff to record for. Not all of which is for YouTube. So, I don't want to overexert, overextend. Just want to give you enough of a taste of the game to hopefully pique your interest. Again, I don't know if it's a budget buster, but quick look on eBay, I'm sure, will give us the answers we're looking for. You can always go for that alternative, too, which is how I'm playing it right now, since I no longer own the copy that I had. Unfortunately, I did make the mistake of selling it way back when, because, you know, I knew I wasn't going to beat it, and at the time, if I wasn't using something, I was quick to get rid of it. How foolish I was indeed. No telling how much I could have made off that. Also, if you are interested, you should know that it was also released under the name Exhumed. E-X-H-U-M-E-D. In European territories. Japan, I'm not sure what it was called in Japan. And I'm not even sure if it was released in Japan. So, just gotta throw that out there. And where am I going? Does anybody know? Okay. Just look for the enemies, right? And wait for the birds. Oh, I'm I'm a horrible person. Shooting at birds. Yeah, and I kind of want to get far enough to where you can see some unnatural enemies. Or at least not not terrestrial enemies. Okay, this worked out better the last time I played. Help if they jumped a little more often, though. And can't quite make that jump. So, yeah, a guy can get around pretty good, though. And 
Let's not waste the ammo. I'm actually quite low, so. But they're very generous with the power up, so. No problems here. Oh. Except I'm going to be wasting it, it seems, so. I'll be right back where I started in just a moment. Okay. Where to next? Let's see. I am a bit foggy, but I do recall. Oh, okay. Had to open that up. Yeah, who knew all that was a door? Clearly not me. Where yet? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to forego the machete for a little bit in favor of accuracy. Accuracy? Accuracy. Pronunciation. It's not that hard. I need the symbol of power. Okay, so we've entered the point where... Ooh! That's gotta be an enemy. I mean, one of the ones I want to show off. That boom, boom, boom. Maybe. I just have to find them. Okay, I... switches hit. Probably don't want to fall in the water. Also, another side note, this is my first time actually recording using a new emulator. It's not SSF, my tried and true. I'm actually using Mednafin, however you pronounce that. So, it's a little bit tricky to get it set up, but once you do, very accurate emulation. And I think that's what I want. Oh, you mean I can't get in there? Okay, was there somewhere over here? But yeah, this is going to serve as a bit of a test video for that as well, so all goes well. I will probably be recording more of that in the future. Oh wait, what is that? Why can I not pick that up? That looks like something special, doesn't it? Do I have to hit it? No. Okay, this was not that difficult the last time I played this. You know what, I'm just gonna pause it once again until I made some progress. I should have known, you missed it, but those pots, ooh, those pots, I didn't blow them up, I needed to do that, so we have a new path. And why do they take two hits with the gun? I mean, it's not the world's largest pistol, but I'd imagine it's more than sufficient to get the job done. They're not that large. But anyway... Okay, I think that's where I want to be going. But before that, symbol of time, I recognize that. Oh, 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 oh. Got me. It's going to be a little while until I get that. No power-ups, guys? There we go. Give me a little something. You know I need it. And I probably can't get in there anyway, so why am I messing with them? Save me, Campbell. Save me. And now we're at Karnak Sanctuary. So yeah, it skips you ahead automatically, so don't make the mistake I did. We're just going to hit the button. No looking back. Don't want to do any of that again. So this area, I believe, is where we will fight some of the interesting opponents. Ooh, that percussion has got me moving. Oh, that soundtrack. Guys, I think it's about to get real. And here's the proof of that. Got the M60. 
symbol of power. So our first opportunity to backtrack, we're not going to do that unless we have to. There was a draw like that in the last area. But we're just going to see if we can move a little bit further. If I was playing long term, I wouldn't have wasted the ammo for that, but... Oh, here we go. Ah! There you go. Hope you took a picture. Because he didn't last long. M60 on a spider. This is ridiculous. Running away isn't, though. Symbol of war. See if we can find that. Yeah, he can take a couple of hits. Symbol of time, okay. Let's go exploring. Oh, this music track, I remember this one. Yeah, just tune me out and listen to this, guys. Okay, I think there's no getting around it. We've got to go back. Back to Karnak in record time. In less than splendid fashion. Because now that we have the symbol of power, we've got to open up some doors. And just for a little bit more. Because so I think we've about hit that mark where you're losing interest in me. But hopefully not Power Slave or exhumed for Sega Saturn available now and has been for quite some time uh, okay they have to respawn because that makes things more engaging I understand that but at the same time no thank you I was hoping I could get him before the door shut. Should I even call that a door? More like a slab. Yeah, it serves the same purpose. Let's not get technical. Need some weapon power, not some health. I'm about to say, come on. How accurate do I have to be? Run, 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 run. Do what, run, run, do what, run, run. So where did I have to go? I am going to be honest, I don't quite recall. It was probably somewhere near the beginning, right? Possibly. Okay, I don't need that. I need the weapon power. Didn't leave any of that laying around, though. That I can grab. No, 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 no. No thank you to all of that. Okay, I think it might have been in here. I'm just avoiding them. Gonna have trouble avoiding them though. Good. Didn't think he could jump up to get that. 
Now that we're alone, I can actually take time to do this. See? It doesn't take a whole lot. Okay. We are just about done for here. Just as soon as I can retrace my steps. Oh, was it here? Wait, I had the symbol of power. What's going on? I had the symbol of power. Isn't that what I grabbed? Ooh! Okay, well I was getting ready to wrap it up anyway since I can't seem to get what I need to progress. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Power Slave. I hope you enjoyed it. Try it out for yourselves if you get a chance. And until next time, that'll wrap it up for Let's Try. Take care and hopefully see you soon.